Welcome to part one of Shopping for Whole30 at Trader Joe's. As always, check your labels. These items were compatible at the time of filming, but unless the product has the Whole30 approved logo on it, you're always gonna wanna check that ingredient list. Let's see what we can find. First up, we have Trader Joe's eggs. I feel like they have a really nice selection of types of eggs. They have pasture raised, organic, and they have pretty good pricing on all of their eggs. Next up, this is my favorite thing is Trader Joe's squash. They price their items per item versus per pound. So it's better bang for your buck compared to a lot of grocery stores. You can get a huge spaghetti squash for a fraction of what it might cost somewhere else. So always look for the biggest one. You can use spaghetti squash in so much. It is such a great noodle substitute on Whole30. There's so many casseroles that you can make with this as the base. So highly recommend getting one of these next time you're at Trader Joe's. Next up are the nuts and seeds. They have a ton of just plain nuts and plain seeds, but as always, check your labels to be sure. I love these raw sliced almonds and also the raw slivered almonds. The ingredients are just almonds, which are great for topping your salads or your curries or any sort of soup. They add a nice little crunch and a nice almond flavor. I also love these dark sweet cherries. These are really delicious on a salad, like a kale salad with some pistachios and these dried sweet cherries is absolutely delicious. Another thing I love to top salads with are chia seeds. They're high in fiber and omegas and they're just a nice little addition to add some crunch. You can get these beside the flax seeds and the hemp seeds, which are also great for topping your salads or soups or anything like that. I also love Trader Joe's Ready Veggies. This is a mix of kale, broccoli, carrots, and snow peas. You can saute it in a pan, throw some sauce on it, add a protein, and it's a delicious way to get some quick veggies into any of your meals. All right, this kohlrabi pasta, I always say it wrong. This is single ingredient, just made from vegetables, so it's a wonderful noodle substitute for any pasta dishes that you're gonna eat on Whole30. If you love beets like me, but hate preparing them, these are perfect for you. They are steamed and peeled, ready to eat beets. I love these in a salad or just chopped up with some fresh herbs as a side dish. All right, we know you can't have traditional tortillas during a whole 30, but these jicama wraps are a perfect substitute. They add such a nice crunch to any sort of wrap. Throw your favorite protein and veggies in there and it's perfect little taco. Next up is this vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. It is vegan, which means there's no dairy in it, so there's no cheese like traditional pesto. This is such a light and delicious sauce. I love putting it on veggies, but there's a ton of ways you could use it. You could put it on chicken and bake it for like a pesto chicken or put it with some spaghetti squash for a pasta. If you are tired of waiting for your avocados to ripen, avocados number guacamole is Trader Joe's solution for you. It's not as good as fresh, but it's good in a pinch. I'm excited about this herb tahini sauce. It's tahini with some different herbs and garlic. I feel like it would be delicious on some chicken or even some beef skewers or just on some roasted veggies and topped with some nuts. This organic chicken broth is in the refrigerated section and it's made with free range chicken bones and it's a really good price actually for a fresh broth like this. Um, you can use this in soups, stews, or just straight out of a mug for a nice little afternoon pick-me-up. This fully cooked pork belly is a fun little option. You can crisp it up in a pan or in the oven, maybe dice it up and serve it with some Brussels sprouts. It's just pork belly, water, and sea salt, so it's a perfect option for adding some delicious porky goodness <laughs> into your meal. One of our very favorites, Applegate's, the great organic uncured beef hot dog. Got that Whole30 approved label on there, so you don't even have to look at the ingredients, but it's made with 100% grass-fed beef, and these are delicious just by themselves. Next up are these chicken meatballs. These are actually something new. They looked awesome, though. They're seasoned, fully cooked, gluten-free, really simple ingredients list. You can check it out right there. I would toss some sauce over these, um, serve them with your favorite veggies, and that's a really easy weeknight meal. One thing to never underestimate is the frozen veggie aisle at Trader Joe's. I always keep a bag of these broccoli florets. 
um, these carrot coins and Brussels sprouts in my freezer. If I run out of fresh vegetables, it's really great to have these on hand. You can just toss them in the oven, covered in some olive oil, and roast them at like 450 degrees for about 20 minutes, and you have an easy side dish. All right, I think they broke the internet when this item first came out, but their organic rice cauliflower is a game changer, and I don't use that loosely. Use it like you would use rice in any dish. Just pan fry it, add some seasoning, add some sauce, add your protein, add veggies. It's delicious for everything, and you can't go wrong. These turkey burgers can be cooked on the stovetop or on a grill. The ingredient list is very simple, which we love to see. So this is another protein option for you if you're looking for something to keep in the freezer. Trader Joe's has a lot of convenience items, but they also have staples, just like frozen salmon, frozen mahi, frozen tuna, things like that. These are great to keep in your freezer and pull them out to thaw if you are in need of a quick meal and don't have anything fresh on hand. If you are a bagels and lox person, this everything but the bagel smoked salmon might be the perfect fit for you. I would serve this with some sliced up cucumbers, maybe some Kite Hill dairy-free Whole30 approved cream cheese, delicious. Trader Joe's brand organic hickory smoked turkey breast has a very simple ingredient list. This is great for making little uh, deli meat roll-ups with vegetables and mustard or some Whole30 mayo. Also the same for the chicken breast variety. These are both really good options. If you love charcuterie, you probably love prosciutto, and this one is just ham and salt. Uh, I think this stuff would be really delicious served with some figs and some nuts as like an appetizer or on top of a salad. All right, that's it for part one. Like and subscribe for part two, and we'll see you next time.